Hi guys, Chris here. Don't want the fucking YouTube police after me again. Sorry, twice now. For tracks in the background. So, I uh, got back from work about uh, 40 minutes ago. No, half an hour ago. Uh, Gert's gone out to do a few things. Cheers. It's a blonde ale. It's not the blonde ale, the Idle Valley blonde ale, but it's a blonde ale nevertheless. How's that, eh? Crystal clear. Naughty finger, naughty finger, where? No, stop it. Been hanging around the Grand Nota far too much. Right. This one goes out to Dan the Man, Steam Beach. You know that, you saw that, maybe you saw that. Those of you follow me on Facebook, one minute. Sorry about that. Not following me on Facebook, but are uh, friends with me or whatever on Facebook. Will have seen that recently I've had two orders from beer clubs, if you like. Uh, one was Beer Hawk. The other one was Beer 52, both decent, um, although I had some issues with the Beer 52 one. Um, and in the one, I can't think, it was Beer Hawk. There was actually a Buxton brewery beer, but it was like 2.8%. So while I was dray work, doing dray work for Idle Valley Brewery, get the plug in there, um, oh, when was it? the day before so that'd be Tuesday uh, I was in Nottingham I went to a nice little bottle shop called Hopology if you're in the West, Brid West Bridgeford area at any time those of you that live there will know already um, pop along to Hopology a beautiful range of beers there absolutely cracking from your sours through to your American IPAs through to some silky stouts um, Belgian beers, all sorts. It's only a small shop. It's not a very big shop at all, but the range is quite, it's quite good, actually, it's quite good. So, as I said, this one goes out to Dan Steam Beach. There we go. We got it. I could have got double axe, but I got axe edge. Just break me in gently. Ooh, uh, so this one is a strong IPA uh, flavoured with or hopped with sorry a stunning blend of European, North American, New Zealand variety hops. It's an India Pale Ale. It's six point eight percent. It's the first one of the day. Well, apart from that half. Good, the old loins. Let's get in. Nice little hiss. It's been in the... Jesus Christ almighty. Christ on a bike. Wow. It's been in the fridge. I don't normally chill these down, but I wasn't going to leave it on the side. So there may be a little haze in there. And... No, I've acquired this one. Uh, so let's give it a pour, shall we? The hops are, it's dank and piney on the nose. Um, it's pouring fairly clear as well, considering it's been in the fridge all since last night. I want to kill it there. So, a bit of condensation. Yeah, there's a, a good, you can still see the finger through it. It's well carbonated. Let's clear some of that. That is, it looks really nice. Um, a nice one, one and a half finger head. Yeah. Oh, some massive grapefruit coming off that. Even a touch, I would say a touch of lime, maybe. Mmm. Nice aroma. Well, Dan, cheers. Up your chuff. 
Oh my good God. Wow. Grapefruit. Masses of grapefruit. Oh. Mmm. It's not that bitter either. Wow. I wonder if they used the Nelson serving hop because as some of you may know it's one of my favourite hops. We're at nearly six minutes here guys and I don't care. This is an outstanding beer. Uh, I've been thinking about going to um, having a visit to Buxton and going to the brewery uh, and staying overnight because Buxton's a, a good hour and a half drive from here and it's not that far, it's only 40 miles or so but hey and there's a sweetness that's running down the sides of my tongue and it's just sort of like tingling with a little sharpness, a little bitterness and then it just dances away and then the lasting bitterness is right at the back end back of your mouth, back of your tongue carbonation, it is quite highly carbonated for um, for me um, there it is, it's warming up now, you can see really quite, quite there's a slight haste to it but I'm putting that down to proteins in the as it's been in the fridge, I don't care if it's bottle conditioned or not. Get it in. Tight house Yorkshireman that I am. Right. Buxton Brewery gets the thumbs up from me, Froggy, from Froggy's Brewery. Um, if you see it, if you've not tried it, buy it. This one was 320. Hey, oh, the only complaint I would have is that it's in a 330ml bottle. I'd happily drink this all night until I got absolutely arsehole. That is a cracking, cracking beer. So, from Buxton Brewery and no longer in South Yorkshire, Froggy, uh, I'll bid you farewell. Cheers, Dan. Thank you for the signposting. And uh, we'll catch you all on the flip side. Bye-bye.